This program will demonstrate the suggested method to don and doff DuPont Tychem Limited Use Protective Clothing, showing you step by step how to put it on and take it off. Donning a DuPont Tychem Level A suit starts with a thorough inspection. Refer to the first section of this program for inspection instructions. Before donning the suit, let's start with a few reminders. You should have an assistant when donning and doffing a Level A garment. Apply anti-fogging solution to the face shield prior to donning. You must wear a fresh air supplied respirator with a totally encapsulating suit. For purposes of this demonstration, we are using an open circuit SCBA. This suit comes with attached socks. You do not wear shoes inside these socks. Do not walk around in these socks on abrasive surfaces or on any chemicals. Always wear chemical protective boots over these socks. The boots must be large enough to accommodate the socks, so you'll likely need a larger size than you normally wear. To ease the donning of the boots, take the slack out of the socks by pulling the pant legs taut. After the foot is inserted in the boot, make sure the boot cover is pulled down over the chemical boots. Pull the suit up and hook the belt on the inside now. This belt will help support the weight of the suit. This is a good time for the assistant to check that the air supply is turned on. Now put your arms into the sleeves. Level A suits usually come with several layers of attached gloves. Adjust your gloves to make sure the layers are properly aligned. Users often wear an additional cotton or examination glove against the skin to make it easier for the hand to slide in and out. These examination gloves are not intended for chemical protection. If you haven't done so already, hook up your air supply to your mask and confirm with the assistant that the respirator is working properly. Then have your assistant pull the hood over your tank and head and zip the closure. Now that your suit is zipped, check to see if you can remove your hand from the gloves and wipe the face shield. Now your assistant should secure the closure flaps over the zipper. Start at the top of the closure and work your way down. Make sure the closure is secured. Now you're ready to do your job. Our worker has been decontaminated and is ready to doff his suit. The purpose of field decontamination is to minimize the potential contamination of the wearer as he removes the suit. Even though our worker has been through a field decontamination process, we're going to make certain our assistant doesn't get any contamination while helping him doff the suit. Once the assistant is finished, he too will have to be decontaminated. The assistant starts by carefully opening the outer closure flap. He wipes the closure thoroughly to remove any liquid that may be present after decontamination. Open and wipe both sides of the closure. Next, the assistant unzips the suit. Pull your hands out of the gloves. Remove the hood, making sure to pull the garment over the air tanks. The assistant should minimize his direct contact with the wearer or the inside of the suit until it is completely removed and away from the wearer. Unhook the inner belt while the assistant rolls the suit carefully. Turn the suit inside out as much as possible to minimize contact with the outer surfaces. Sit down while the assistant removes your boots and the legs of the garment. The assistant then carries the suit away to be placed in the proper container for disposal. The wearer should continue to breathe through the respirator until the suit is fully doffed and removed from the area. Remember, it is the responsibility of the user to determine the proper personal protective equipment needed. This program has been designed to assist employees with the donning and doffing of the DuPont Tychem limited use garments. By following these step-by-step -step procedures, you will get the optimal protection from these high-quality garments. Protective clothing designed to suit your particular mission 
and to help keep you safe.